and welcome to another day of summer steam. Today we'll be making our own dust catchers. For this activity, you'll need one half sheet of construction paper, one sheet of parchment paper that we already cut for you, a butter knife, a 10 by 10 sheet of graph paper, a glue stick, a magnifying glass, and a little bit of petroleum jelly, which we already packaged for you. Have you ever noticed the tiny particles in the air? We breathe little pieces of stuff all the time. Some of it comes from the ground, like dust. Some of it comes from our bodies or clothes, like lint, hairs, little pieces of skin. There are a lot of bits and pieces of stuff in the air, and they're usually very small, much less than an inch in size. Since you can't usually see dust, we're going to demonstrate what it looks like using a cotton ball, baking soda, and a flashlight in a dark room. You can try it out at home too. Just be careful not to spill or do this around anyone who has a dust allergy. Dust and other particles found indoors can come from a variety of sources and may include cigarette smoke, animal dander, which are basically flakes of dead skin, insect parts, mold spores, fibers, and dust mites in their droppings. Indoor dust can be a health problem for people who are allergic to any one of the particles it contains. Animal dander, mold spores, and dust mites are especially common indoor allergens, which are agents or things that cause allergies. They can cause simple allergies of the upper respiratory system, which includes the nose and the sinuses. Several things can help to control dust in indoor environments. Filters remove larger particles from the air. Keeping living areas dry and well ventilated also helps to limit the growth of molds and dust mites that can feed on molds, which prefer damp places. Eliminating curtains and other materials that hold dust may be necessary in some cases to control allergies. <laughs> 